Welcome to TV station of Yijin Feng Shui Weixin TV. Today is Monday, April 3rd, 2017. This is Fiona serving you the news of new religion of the world Taiwan Weixin Shenjiang of this week. First, as usual, we will start from our Weixin feature story. Hello, everyone. Amin Tuofu. This is Clara. Welcome to Watch It Today's feature story. Yi Yao Publishing House, located at the Changjishan Xianfo Temple, close to the main campus of Yijin University, which is the center for Weixin Shenzhou Pharma Publishing. Yi Yao Publishing House, founded in 2004, published a wide range of publications, including sutras, books, cities, Pharma treasures, historical records, a vital records of Guigu Zhihua Pharma, transmission from Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi for past 34 years. In particular, the marvelous Pharma of eliminating cultural fee and the essentials of self-cultivation are the most popular things that Weixin virtuous pharaohs are interested in collecting and preserving and widely used in research. The origin of Yi Yao means the key to the Yi Jing. In other words, the key to the Yi Jing is to activate the wisdom of your subconscious and the infinite intelligence inside you. In Lunar Canada, January 50, 1983, Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi followed the heavenly decree to establish the Yi Yao Publishing House in Taichung City which to use Yi Jing Feng Shui to benefit all human beings, to offer service in answer to his or her questions and resolve their difficulties, as well as encourage people being kind and having merits. During that time, the publishing house aims to aid and assist all sentient beings, guide and direct people to attain feel enlightenment to safeguard the world and pray for the world peace. Merciful Heaven grants the name of Yi Yao to the publishing house in modern world. It is a foremost niche and triggers people's curiosity to Yi Jing and Feng Shui. Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi keeps using Yi Yao to cherish the memories of the time merciful Taiwan Zhu Shi and the Guan Yin Bodhisattva saved him 34 years ago. Though, now he changed the name to Yi Yao Chu Ban She, Yi Yao Publishing House in English. It continuously shoulders the responsibility to collect pharma treasures of Weixin Shenjiao and administrates all classics such as Grandmasters, manuscripts, calligraphy, and the Weixin Daozhang in Weixin Museum. The collection of a promotion Gui Gu Zhi's culture in Taiwan are published and contains over 2,900 books. For Weixin virtuous pharaohs, these are important reference books that guide them understand the teachings of Weixin Shenjiao. Weixin Shenjiao also use it to build a bridge to worshippers who have interest in our religions. In Lunar Canada, May 5, 2015, Yi Yao Publishing House complete Weixin Daozhang. Its total has 15,615 volumes, marked in accordance for the books with 4,000 presentation boxes. Collecting and publishing Weixin Daozhang is a big challenge for Yi Yao Publishing House since it was set up. Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi reaches the pharma without stopping, and the Yi Yao Publishing House continue recording Grandmaster's speeches. Every year, in Luna Canada, January 9th, we hold open book ceremony. 
until today, Weixin Daozhang has accumulated to 18,701 volumes. It is the most important and complete corpus of Weigu's hard drama, doctrinal taxes in the 21st century and the priceless collection of Weixin Shenjiang. Thank you for watching today's feature story. See you next week. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi has propagated Yijing Feng Shui and devoted to social service in Taiwan for 34 years. With his great wisdom and wondrous dharma, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi applies Yijing Feng Shui to people's daily life and helps people not only in Taiwan but also around the world. For further understanding, let's follow Grandmaster's footprint to know the latest news of promoting world peace trip. Take a look. Today, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi went to China to promote world peace. During this trip, he interacted with scholars who are experts in Guigu culture in China and visited Zhuo Lu Three Chinese and Census Culture Museum, Three Chinese and Census Hall, Yellow Emperor Palace Hall, Yan Emperor Temple, and Chiyou Shrine to venerate the Three Chinese and Census Tianzun. Besides, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi also located the holy icons of Yellow Emperor, Yan Emperor, and Chiyou Emperor at Three Chinese and Census Hall. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi arrived at Zhengzhou on March 15th. He attended Interaction Forum with scholars at Yunmeng Mountain, a trigram city. They hosted a forum on Guigu cultural development, ancient wisdom in the modern life, and wished to provide a useful forum for the exchange of views, for example, how to apply Guigu wisdom in daily life and discuss Guigu cultural development in the future. Taiwan,啊,弘揚了幾十年,從修行,悟道,正道。把硅谷文化古至今用的朋友們過去的思維模式方向through inspiring speeches and discussions, their expectation of Guigu culture great future development was presented with ample views and information. This interaction for Rome was successful completely. On March 18th, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi, accompanied by Weixin Virtuous Fellows, went to Three Chinese Ancestors Hall to locate the holy icons of Three Chinese Ancestors. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi sincerely prayed that Three Chinese Ancestors please descendants and fulfill their wishes of world as a family. Uh, 在中華民族五千年後的今天
，啊，我们追根溯源，万年归心，啊，回到五千年前三族在这里第一场无名战争、走路战争之后的五千年后。我们又回来了，啊，这一块宝地耶，这个是地球，任何一个地方都是宝地。可是我们五千年来，在这个宝地上，我们修行有各种不同的方式修行，啊，只是一种让我们来世间上体验。世事无常，我们如何保持心灵的宁静和和谐，以及我们的灵心灵如何来超越、看待历史、对待历史？啊，尤其如何对未来历史的延续啊开始？一个美好、和谐、有如极乐世界的历史，在中国的地方，在地球上能够建设起来。所以我们在二零零一年开始来到着陆，啊，一场追根溯源。万年要归心啊！这个法语啊，呃，充满的很多很多的神秘面纱，而充满的挑战。所以，我们尊天华子二零零一年的现今日当下。啊，来到着陆，啊，借由我们任书记在这里迎接我们，大家一起来追根溯源。啊，当时来了，我很感动。啊，所了解的历史渊源、恩怨情仇，从这里开始，也从这里开始画下。未来恩念清楚的修祝福，我希望能够满我们大家的愿。Chinese ethnicity 5,000 y e a r s of history with myriad changes. We sincerely pray that we could end the age of darkness of past 5,000 y e a r s inflicted by human s nations and open the future 5,000 y e a r s of a bright world. w e i x i n News, Henan. Take a break. We will come back soon. The most significant annual ritual of Weixin Shenjiao is Wang Chan Lao Zu birthday celebration and National Protection and Disaster Elimination Water Earth ritual. From April 15th to April 22nd, we piously set up eight altars and summon the spirits of Chinese ancestors, holy sages, and the spirits from ten Dharma realms to attend the ritual and listen to the sutras and instructions, release karmic bonds, and dissolve grievance. May those who were being our parents, relatives, teachers, friends, with the many times of reincarnation, return to the Southern Heaven Pure Land and reincarnate to the Western Buddhist Pure Land. We wish their mind may be peaceful, and meanwhile, we pray for the safety of Taiwan and for war peace. Now we are showing you the lantern post erected at Chanji Mountain Shenfo Temple on March 30th. It symbolizes the announcement to the Ten Dharma Rams and the procedure of the rite. Now let's watch the footage together.
。卫星上照 erected the lantern post to invite the three realms and the ten dharmas directions, and held the Buddha ceremony of water and land in Weixing Shen Zhao Shenfo Temple on 30th in the new year. The ritual will appeal the souls on April 15th and start on April 16th. The lantern posts are used to announce the start of a ritual and mark the location of the altar to guide the gods and souls to come to the altar. However, it is also an important mark. Follow the flow custom. The higher of the lantern post, the wider of the range. The main purpose to build the lantern post is to report to all the gods and souls that it welcomes them to join the ritual. Therefore, lantern posts are like the effect of invitations, and it has not only the meaning of communicating between the world, but also the function of a raw sign. Lantern posts raise one by one in the firecrackers, and it representing the ritual was going to start. Currently, the ritual was going to the last stage. Each unit was doing its best to finish the ritual. The trending papers of Taiwan safety in the new year have started to be collecting. Now there is a distance from success, and virtuous fellows keep working on chanting to bless for Taiwan's safety. The lotus group of the ritual asks those who haven't signed up to apply as soon as possible, in case the world crowd before the ritual. Weixing News at Shenfo Temple. Continue on news of the rituals. Taoyuan Branch Temple held the annual ritual for peace and safety on March 26. Let's take a look. Weixing Shengjiao Branch Temple in Taoyuan held a ritual to commemorate its foundation. On the 26th of this month, Taoyuan Branch Temple held an anniversary blessings ritual and invited Master Yuan Meng from the Weixing Shengjiao Chanting College to lead recitation of sutras at the main altar and to guide through and explain the steps of ritual, such as the mandala arrangement. Master in this way helped the temple volunteers to extend their wisdom, fully experience the joy of receiving dharma, and perform their ritual duties smoothly and properly. The Taoyuan branch temple was founded last April, and this year was its first anniversary. It promotes the wondrous dharma of I Ching Feng Shui in the Taoyuan area, spreads the dharma and gives rise to good karma, and benefits the local people. The abbot, Master Yuan Peng, leads virtuous fellows to dedication to self-cultivation, use the wondrous dharma to benefit those around them, and spare no effort to inspire the public to join in self-cultivation. The preparations for anniversary rituals started one month before the date of ceremony, and the announcements were made even earlier. Master Yuan Peng gathered the leaders of all classes and other virtuous fellows to dedicate efforts to preparations. It is thanks to the work of all the volunteers that the ritual of mandala arrangement was finished in very short time. Virtuous fellows and participants from the ranks of public worked in concord towards a common purpose, and their concerted efforts and spontaneous participation in ritual deserve a praise. The ritual started in the morning when Master Yuan Meng purified the boundaries for the Dharma session. Afterwards, the participants chanted the Kweiku Immortal Master Heavenly Virtue Sutra, the Wang Chan Lao Tzu Profound Sutra, and the Wei Xin Sheng Tiao Heart Calmness Sutra, followed by offerings to all Buddhas and souls in the three realms within the temple's area of influence. The ritual ended with an offering of sweet dew. After the ritual, Master Yuan Peng prayed to Wang Chan Lao Tzu for blessings for all participants, peace of their families, and health and prosperity. Weixi News, reporting from Taoyuan. Take a break. We will come back soon. For weekly education information, following Wang Chen Lao Tzu's instruction, Every virtuous fellow has to attend oath-taking ceremony after starting Yi Jing Feng Shui fundamental classes. With a humble mind and concerning about others, they learn the wisdom of Yi Jing Feng Shui and take responsibility for themselves. Together, let's watch the footage of Wei Xin Shen Zhao student oath-taking ceremony in Thousand Buddha Zen Hall.
Wei Xinsheng Jiao held an oath-taking ceremony for fundamental classes students at the Thorin Buddha Zen Ho of Changchi Shan Xianfo Temple on March 26. More than 40 fundamental classes of Yijing Fengshui students voted to gain the Chu Dharma to benefit all sentient beings with warm regards towards Wang Chan Lao Zhu, Buddha, and Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi. Students took an oath to a well them of great wisdom and enlightenment and the conditions that it is not bound to all affections and turn the world peace dharma well together. Two words by the servers and one Chan Lao Zhu led by Master Yuan Xun. Let's take a close look at the meaning and the sense of the author of elections explained by Shu Ao Branch Temple, Master Yuan Zhi. Today, we are going to the Xianxi. 先是呢是对自己的保证所以这个对一个邪法的人来宣示的这是非常重要的 Students are drawn from all over the world and from a variety of the curses and conditions 听师父讲的 all virtuous fellows are willing to go extra miles to cultivate themselves for the benefit of the country and the humanity with open heart and a cheerful faith toward the Bodhisattva and Wang Chan Lao Zhu and create a better world for all. Weixing News, Nantou. For news of social activity, Master Yuan Hai of Huwei Branch Temple joined the Thousand Blood Donor Charitable Event with Virtuous Fellows. Let's move on to the plaza nearby St. Joseph's Hospital to know more about this meaningful event. Weixin Shengjiao Huwei Branch Temple participated in blood donation event. On the 26th of this month, Huwei Branch Temple participated in a local charitable event that took place in a parking lot next to the St. Joseph's Hospital. The blood donation event was organized by the Huwei Lions Club, and the Huwei Branch Temple joined this communal undertaking. Led by Master Yuan Hai, Virtuous Fellows set up a booth in order to provide services to severely ill, and using the eating Dharma, search for solutions to their problems. The Huwei Lions Club has been organizing the blood donation for many years, calling upon the people to donate blood and save life. The Wei Branch Temple responded to the call and has been participating in this altruistic event every year, using the Yijing Dharma to help blood donors solve their problems. Besides confirming that good deeds bring good karma, it is an opportunity to promote the Yijing Feng Shui education so that all people can learn the wondrous methods and protect oneself and benefit others. The event was lively and busy, and neither wind nor rain affected the enthusiasm of blood donors who donated 1,724 packs of blood, thus helping to surpass the aim of 1,000 donors. Since the basic principle of Wei Sheng Chao is to cultivate for the benefit of the country and humanity, all branch temples besides propagating the Dharma take part in local public welfare events. Wei Xin followers eagerly participate and serve local people with altruistic spirit and benefit humanity with prayers as more virtuous fellows come to learn the wondrous Dharma. Weixin News, reporting from Huwei. The new religion of the world, the Taiwan Weixin Shenjiao, includes Yijin Feng Shui academic and education and religious belief. It boasts a diverse and abstruse religious culture. Weixin News devotes itself to providing you with the most diverse and ample information of the development and news of Weixin Shenjiao. Thank you for joining today's Weixin News. Please join us every Monday at 11.30 p.m. and every Tuesday at 11.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Wang Chan Lao Zhu bless you and your family. See you next time. Goodbye.